try to breathe in a way that's really refreshing. It's good to come into a place like this where not, there are not that many physical comforts, but there is quiet and there's peace. That gives you the space and the encouragement to look inside for your sense of well-being. If things outside were perfect, we wouldn't look inside at all. Several years back when the monastery was first founded, someone invited the monks over to the Self-Realization Fellowship, and they had their meditation garden. Trees all lined up, benches all lined up on a cliff overlooking the sea. And Mr. John Sweat said, who's going to see suffering here? It's not a place to meditate. So you have to have some suffering. There has to be some stress and pain. But that encourages you to look inside, because there is a place in the mind that is not stressed and is not pain, no matter how bad things are outside. And we're digging down to find that. In the very beginning, you start digging down into the breath, because there are ways of breathing that are really blissful. And the mind needs that sense of well-being, it needs a sense of refreshment for the practice to keep on going. Some people say that it's indulgent. Well, the Buddha recommended that this is a good step in the meditation. It's a good skill to develop in the meditation to have that sense of well-being and rapture. This is one of the things a meditator does. He said the rap meditators feed on rapture like the radiant gods. And so when things are hot outside, when things are uncomfortable, okay, look inside, try to find some energy, try to find a sense of well-being. Try to find a sense of fullness in the breath. And you can experiment with different ways of breathing, different ways of conceiving the breath. If you're forcing the breath in, forcing it out, it's not going to be a pleasant experience. But think of it coming in and out freely. There's no obstacles to it at all. It can come in and out from any part of the body. Just hold that perception in mind. And think of the energy in the body that's already there. Think of it being something you want to maintain. Don't squeeze it out with the out-breath. Don't trample on it when you bring in the in-breath. Give everything in the body a sense to have its own space. And you find that's a sense of well-being that can carry you through all kinds of difficulties. So when things outside get difficult, at least you've got the peace and quiet here that's needed to look inside carefully. And that's where you're going to find the best happiness anyhow. 